Hey y'all, um, it is Monday, July the 20th, and I am getting ready to go into my classroom. If you can hear the air going, I am in my car, obviously, and in Virginia, it is already 82 degrees, okay? So, um, it is very hot. Um, I am late. I wanted to get to school at 9 versus <laughs> leaving my house almost at 9, um, but I was tired, and it's summer, and I slept, so it's all good. Um, I only need a couple of hours today. I will not be in my classroom for too long. There won't be too much for you to see in this vlog, so it might be a short one, but we'll see. Um, it will officially be day one of classroom setup. Um, the last four videos that you guys saw um, if you haven't checked out my moving vlogs, definitely check those out before you check this one out so you can see the before state of my classroom. But um, in those vlogs, I moved from my classroom that I was in for two years into a new classroom. No, I am not moving schools. No, I am not moving grade levels. There's just been some shift in the building as to where first grade is getting placed. So my classroom needed to move. So I spent the first four videos moving my things from one classroom to another. And um, now everything that I need is in my room. I have one more thing to get out of that classroom. It's like a decor thing. Um, and then I won't be going back into that room anymore. So today will be officially day one of classroom setup and today's purpose is to paint so i don't know if you can see there it goes right there so that right there is a buck a gallon of black paint and like i've told you guys in previous vlogs i am painting my cubbies black and those two weird random squares black um i am also going to be painting my um air conditioner back back i'm going to be painting my air conditioner black and blue uh so those that's the main project for today i got a couple of organization things to do um like i made um some labels for the supplies that i um organized in my last video made labels print it cut it laminated so i'm gonna put those in on the buckets when i get to school um, but I'm gonna stop talking so much now and head on out. My mom's on the porch. I don't know if you can see her, <laughs> the little red spot. Ugh, there's nothing right there. There's mom <laughs> sitting on the porch. But anyway, I'm gonna head down to school and I'll check in with y'all. Check in with y'all when I get there. Like I said, y'all know my air conditioner problems, so I will probably check in while I'm in Dara's classroom and then like pan around and show you things in my classroom. Um, we'll see if I get to do some time lapses for y'all or not. I forgot my tripod in the house. I don't know if I really wanna go in there and get it, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, stop rambling, bye y'all. Hey friends, so I am now at school um, in Dara's room. You know, this is where I like to talk to you guys. Um, not sure she's coming in today. She might not be, but um, either way, you know, I like chatting with you guys in her room. But I gave you guys a little pan around of what my room is currently looking like. Um, I have a to-do list, which I will show you um, in a second. It's in my room, it's not in here with me. But um, I got a couple of organization things that I need to get done. The two big projects will be contact papering my sink. If I can find somebody to help me with that. If Dara doesn't come in today, then I have to find somebody to help me with that. Um, if not, 
then I'm definitely going to paint. So painting and contact paper are the two big projects. I got a couple of little things that I wanna do, like put the labels um, in my supply closet. And then um, I think I had on my list that I needed to put all the Title I things that are on that writing um, station area into a bucket into the closet so that it's not out in the open. I kind of want all of my desk spaces or table spaces to be clean and clear uh, before I leave today. Paint, get those labels on, get the contact paper on if I can get somebody to help me. Um, and those are pretty much the things I need to get done today. Nothing too major um, because pretty much after that's done, the only thing I need to do is bring in my furniture for my desk area, um, which I'm getting more furniture on Thursday. I'm hanging out with Sarah from Positively Reading. I mentioned her a couple times in my vlogs. We've been talking a lot about like school, dec um, classroom decor and school stuff. And I'm just so grateful for her to be able to just like send her stuff. And she's like, oh, that's cute. Or mm -mm, that's not good. So thank you, Sarah. I love you. But I'm gonna be hanging out with her on Thursday. We're gonna go to Ikea and Lakeshore. I think that's all the updates I need to give you. There's a lot more people here than what normally is. Um, there's three of us from the first grade team that are here. Uh, so yeah, I probably won't be uh, talking as much, but I will try to get as much B-roll as possible of me painting and doing things today. So I'm gonna get ready to get started and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. took all of the old labels off. I used these same labels. Um, I just changed the font. I didn't really care for that font, so I changed them, but I liked the clip art. So I'll flip you around and show you all the labels done. So I just need a label for glue bottles. And then we have pencils, erasers, dry erase markers. I'm gonna change these um, crayons out um, and I'm just gonna put colors in there because I'm going to stock these up with crayons, color pencils, and markers. And then basically, um, not up there, down here, the crayons, markers, and colored pencils, and then I have scissors, but those, these will be like, um, the extras and then these we will use like to replenish their individual supplies so yeah I just need to put this on a binder ring and that on a binder ring and then make one more label for glue bottles and we are all done with the supply closet this is the list that I told you guys about just a few seconds ago uh, so I would like to contact paper the sink, but it doesn't look like I'm going to have any help with that. So I'll do that later. I labeled my supply closet, so that's done. Um, I have command hooks that I'm going to put in the closets. I'm going to do that next. Move the Title I stuff. Get my white balls from room 8 and then go ahead and start painting. guys I've taped up my walls and around the air conditioner over there and over here somebody's at my door but I'm getting ready to paint let's go
Hey friends. Um, sorry if you hear the air conditioner in the background. I am in the car, but I'm at the drive-thru at Chick-fil-A. Um, I just wanted to start the vlog for today and let you guys know that um, my camera or my phone died while I was filming yesterday. So I think the last clip that you guys saw was um, me taping so that I can paint. Um, I painted the squares um, and the AC and the cubbies. I have to do a second coat on the AC and finish up the cubbies because there are some red spots that I didn't get and then I want to go over the other spots that I did get in another coat. Um, uh, so I'm going to be doing that today and then I'm going to be cutting um, and laminating and putting some things up on my wall today. Oh, I did say that I was going to paint um, part of the closet too, so I'll show you guys that. Um, um, I brought my charger so that <laughs> my phone won't die on me. Um, I think it's because I was filming and listening to music. So, yeah, if you're a new YouTuber out there and you're filming on your phone, make sure you definitely have a um, charger with you. But... I'm getting ready to grab some lunch at Chick-fil-A. I'm going to eat it in my car before I go into the school. And then um, I'll check in with you guys when I get there. Hey y'all. Okay, so I'm in somebody else's room right now um, instead of Dara's room. Her room is locked today. So I decided to come in this room. It's another kindergarten classroom, but um, she's not here yet. So. I'm just gonna use this room to talk to you guys. But anyway, um, so I'm in here. I just put my brought my stuff in. I think the first thing that I'm gonna get out of the way is the painting and so that can be drying. And then after I finish the paint, I am going to be cutting and laminating things and getting things on the wall until my team teacher is done painting because she's doing some painting around the school once she is done with that she's going to come to my room and help me put the contact paper around my sink area so um i'll have like a little marble countertop so i'm looking forward to that um i'm gonna go in my room unpack my little black box and get started i will try to do as much b-roll as possible i do have my tripod here today um but yeah, I think that's all I needed to update you on. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip. I am tired okay I am tired remind me not to paint anymore because I, mm -mm, I am NOT like most of these other teachers out here I do not like painting painting is not fun for me some some teachers in this school are painting like their whole classrooms ain't no way I'm tired I'm tired I'm over it my hair looks crazy I'm done but um, let me show you what I've done and what I need to do because um, there's just a couple of spots that I need to touch up but I'm pretty much done with the painting thing. So let me flip you around and show you what I've accomplished. Okay, so I'm from back here in my little teacher area, I got the black squares done up front. I think they turned out really good and I'm gonna put border around them. I decided to paint the cabinet with those black squares. I'll move a little bit closer so you can let me know if I need to. Should I go over that again or not? I don't know, I'm debating. But this is done. 
um you can see a little bit of red like shine through if you get super close like see here you can see like some red spots but psh, back here you can't tell that much so i am done y'all <laughs> These cubbies were a struggle. You probably saw me, um, I tried to get some B-roll of it, but geez Louise, that was a struggle. I am done with these cubbies. I'm not doing no more coats. It is what it is. The big, bold red is gone. So that's all I really wanted. So I'm good with that. So that is done. Um, like I had mentioned, I did this. I'm thinking that I'm gonna go over them with one more coat tomorrow let that dry and then go over one more coat and then the last thing is the air conditioner that's loud again i'm sorry about the noise but it's all done in black the black is all done i think it turned out really good um like i said i am a horrible painter <laughs> but you know what it's all good it looks great um this part is still taped off because I'm gonna paint that a pretty light blue so yeah I'm gonna paint that tomorrow so tomorrow the only painting I have to do is this and do one more coat of that and that is the painting for this room guys I love how when you look at that now it's all black and it matches <laughs> um, I'm going to get me and a team member are going to put contact paper on that. So I'll come back and show you that when it's done. Um, and then tomorrow, me and Dara are going to put contact paper on this. So I'll let you know when that's done. Um, this is my little setup. Back here, I brought my laminator. I have my laminating pouches that I bought from Walmart. And then right here is my little drawer organizer for all of my projects that I've been doing. So if you're a new teacher, and you're trying to figure out how to organize your projects that you've been doing over the summer, this is how I've been doing it. So what I do is um, things I need to cut and or back, I put in here. So meaning like if, um, what I mean by backing is like those levels of understanding are gonna go on a colored piece of paper. So I need to back them and cut them out. So this is the cutting drawer. This is the needs to be laminated drawer. So I have some cards from Target that I'm gonna laminate and put on a ring. And then I have my calendar cards that need to be laminated. Um, and this is my glue gun that I brought so I can glue those, um, those command hooks up so I can put my borders in the closet. And then this right here are finished or no, down here will go the lamination that needs to be cut out and then in this pouch I've been putting like things that are finished so right now my voice levels are finished and they're gonna go over there on that closet um so that's one of the reasons why I painted it black because these are like a shiplap background uh, I got these voice levels from teaching with happiness Jenna on Instagram I freaking love her she's amazing and I love her color scheme of purples and blues so I decided to use some of her projects in my classroom this year since I've changed my color scheme to colors I mean to blues and purples but yeah so this is my little system um, to keep myself organized with the projects that I'm doing that I'm doing and I had put a couple of supplies in there just so I can transport it into the school but Yep, so this is how I'm doing it. So to cut, to laminate, and then to hang up or put up, finished, done. Um, so while I'm waiting for my team member to come in and help me with the contact paper, I am going to sit and start um, backing some of the things in here and cutting and getting this drawer down um, before I get down to this drawer. All right, guys, a little bit of an update. I've been cutting some things out and my um, team teacher came and did my counter for me. And y'all, I think it looks pretty freaking good. I mean, there's some imperfections. There's some things that are, you know, a little crinkly or bubbly or whatever, but 
I'm okay with it. So um, let me show you guys what it looks like. So here it goes. Here's a look back here. I love the way that it turned out. But this is what it looks like up close. Ooh, it looks so nice on camera. You can't really see the imperfections. But if you get a little bit closer, see we got some things there. And here. And a little bit over there. But for the most part, y'all, like, look at that. It's so cute. It looks so good. I love it. It is coming along. Okay, so it is currently 10 after 3. I am going to, I finished cutting out all of my numbers. So those are done. And then um, these are my word wall letters. So I think I'm going to finish cutting out my word wall letters. And then I'm going to put the second coat on that and I actually might go ahead no I'll wait on that because I'm gonna get a new paintbrush for that since it's like my paintbrushes were black and I don't want to risk getting black on the blue because it's pretty light blue but um, I'll go over that black one more time and then that way I can go ahead and put away the black paint and be done with it um, and then tomorrow the only little spot I'll need to paint is that didn't get to put anything up on my walls today but that is okay um my numbers are gonna go up there my colors are gonna go up there um my word wall is gonna be here on this side so hopefully my numbers fit over there i think they will but you never know um so yeah I am going to finish cutting these out and then paint the black over there and we're going to wrap it up for today. Okay guys, I am done with day two of classroom setup um so i'm gonna flip you around i do believe i am gonna combine day one and day two because like i told you guys earlier in the video i didn't get much footage yesterday because my phone died so um i think i got a decent amount of footage today i'm gonna flip you around i'm proud of this room guys it's coming along um so I'm gonna flip you around and show you guys what we're working with. All right, so when you start at the front door, we have this closet that I painted black, which I am obsessed with the black and white. I am not the best painter, so paint got everywhere, but it's fine. I love the black and white. Um, those are still the same for now. I did put the crates up there. Um, those are gonna be for extra supplies, so you guys know that I put um the supply labels on my things in there so this will be for like wipes tissue um boxes of tissue hand sanitizer things like that will go in those crates up top this is still the same this is still the same this is new so we got the marble countertops now my cubbies are all black, finally. Closet still the same, didn't do anything with that. Um, back here I have my laminator and my little three drawer thing with things I need to cut and laminate, which I'm gonna leave here because I'll be doing that tomorrow. This is pretty much all done guys. Like. I am obsessed um, if you remember what it looked like before this is like a complete 360 maybe full turnaround is 360 so yeah guys look at that love it 
Um, I will do one more coat of the like baby light blue up front tomorrow and then that is it for that. So it looks so much better. There's nothing really I can do about <laughs> the nasty little vent part but other than that it is definitely an improvement. My black squares are completed so all I have to do is just put border around that which I'm gonna do that tomorrow and then we're back at the front door so that is it guys my room is coming along it is looking good I'm proud of it so far so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up so that I can reach other people out there who like to watch classroom setup vlogs. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe so that you can see my other setup videos. Um, if you haven't watched my move-in vlogs, definitely make sure you go back and watch those. And with that being said, guys, I will see you in the next one. Yay, it's classroom setup, I can't believe it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.